I'll be testing the G data link con uh, connectors today, both uh, the receiving end and the transmission side. And uh, I used to use the uh, a 3DR um, general telemetry um, radio link module, um, but it is just a very simple swap. So basically, I've just connected the the leads um, to the com. and the ground to um, any of the M1 to M8 uh, ground pin which is the, the lowest uh, pin of the tree. Okay, I'm going to power uh, the quad up right now. And as you can see, the power is on right now. And I'm going to move on to the ground station uh, which will be connected to my Android phone here um, I've already installed uh, the ground station software which is version 1.1 um, and let's see what happens okay. so I've connected it and it is live right now with the provided um, OTG cable and it asked me um, to select uh, which ground station to use and it will be GE Go. This is the ground station with all the functions um, below here, and then I'm going to test uh, to see if um, I can connect uh, both of them together. So the way to connect is um, there's uh, the top right icon button, and then I'll choose connect by USB, and there you go. I'm connected, and. As you can see, I'm starting to get the data coming in, um, like the compass heading, uh, the GPS signal, battery reading, everything is here. So in order to do a quick test, and of course uh, I have to make sure that uh, my transmitter has already been connected, so that uh, this works. And what I'm going to do now is I'll just go to uh, the settings side, so that um, just to make sure that everything is working, just do a quick check reading so it's able to actually uh, read the settings uh, coming from the FC so sensitivity so quick check and then at once make sure that the rise height everything is here and uh, this is just to show you the uh, current version is version 1.1 okay so before I actually bring this out um, to do a quick flight uh, what I'm going to do is I'll try to arm the motors via the app. Okay. So all the checklist is done. Um, I do not have props on my motors obvious, for obvious reasons. Okay. And let me just uh, do a quick tap. And you see that it's now spinning. Right. But it stopped because uh, it again see so it's actually working on the unlock side right. so if I do a quick unlock again do a take off do a try to take off but because there's no props so it's actually trying to go on top and now it's kind of slow and it's not this one so everything is fine with the connection and it's uh, really easy as a plug and play um, product. So next I'm going to um, take this baby out for a spin. Okay. 